Hi there, Mar Haddad here. So in this uh, new video, I would like to show you how you can configure the pont to pont on Frame Relay. So I have already showed you in another video how we can do the pont to multi pont, and uh, we use pont to multi pont when we have from our uh, Frame Relay provider that we have the same range of IPs that we are going to put it on, for example, on the headquarter and on the branch office. So that's why we have to use the pont to pont multi pont. But uh, with the pont to pont, say that. You don't want to have the same range of IPs. So in this case, you have to use the pont to pont on frame relay. Who decide if you want to use the same range of IPs or not the same range of IP? That's uh, your uh, provider, the one which is giving you the frame relay circuit. Also, you can discuss it with them, of course, ask if you want to have the same range of IP or not. But yeah, at the end, this is the provider who decide. Now, in the, this lab, I'm going to show you step by step how you can configure the frame day point to point, and we have to see if it's going to work at the end. So let's see what is the scenario and then I will start doing the points. So this is my scenario. Uh, I, as you can see, I have here my provider, which is the frame day switch over here. So this is my provider. And this is a router, for example, in the headquarter. And those are routers in branch office one and branch office two, just as an example. So all this is going to be my network in my company. Now, what I have the, is I got from my provider, uh, IPs, uh, which are on different strands. So you can see this is 192.168.12, this is 1.3. And this is linked to this DLCI and that one is linked to this DLCI. So what I need to do from this side is to make the point to point. Why point to point? Because it's one point to another point because we do have different IP addresses range, so it's called point to point. Now, the configuration on point to point on frame relay is uh, a bit different than uh, the frame relay, which is on the point to multi point. You know, on point to multi point, you have to have the same range. So over, over here, we do not have the same range. So the configuration is going to be a little bit different, but the concept is the same. So for example, router one to reach router two, it has to send to his DLCI. Router one, if you want to reach a router a three, it has to send to it. It's the LCI. Same for router two. If you want to reach router one or router three, it has to send to his DLCI. And router three, if you want to reach router one or router two, it has to send to its DLCI. So I'm going to use here sub interfaces. Again, you can just make physical interfaces, use the physical interfaces. That's not a problem, but I like to make more to use the sub interfaces. And why is that? Because if you use the uh, physical interfaces, you are wasting two physical interfaces here. So you need one for the uh, link to or the circuit to router two and one for the circuit to router three. What I do, I just use the same uh, interface here and I create uh, over here sub interface. So in case I have another branch coming, then I can just make a third sub interface and then I make it for another branch. That's much easier for uh, my uh, configuration. And also it's much easier as for the management of the circuits. So this is the whole idea. So at the end, we have to see if the frame relay is going to work at the end. So let's start directly with the, the points and see how we have to do the configuration for the frame relay point to point. Point number one, configure two sub interfaces on the headquarter router one uh, uh, router and uh, make it as point to point, then put the IP address as per the graph. So I put just the picture here so you can follow what I'm doing. So let's go to the router. First, we have to go to the serial interface, which is in my case serial 2 slash 0. And then I have to say the encapsulation I'm going to use is frame relay, and then I have to bring it up. So no shutdown. Then after I do that, I have to start creating the sub interfaces. One to be for the DLCI, which is 102, and one to be for the DLCI, which is uh, actually 10, uh, which is 103. So let's do that. I will create here interface serial 2 slash 0 and I will make it dot 102 so I know that it is going to the DSI uh, 102 and over here I have to say on to point so that's what I need to do and then when I do that I have to say IP address 192.168.1.255.255.255.0 so please look to the picture so you know why I'm putting this IP and then I have to say no shutdown. So once this is done, then I have to create another sub interface. So I have to say exit interface serial two slash zero dot one oh three point to point. And then I'm gonna put an IP address one nine two one six eight dot one three dot one two five five two five five two five five zero and no shutdown. So this is done on router one. 
Now I have to go to Route 2 and also I have to make the same steps. So, but on Route 2, we create only one sub interface. On Route 2, you can do it directly on the physical interface. That's also possible. But I'm going to use also sub interfaces. So I'll go to the interface serial 2 slash 0, encapsulation frame relay, and then no shutdown. Now I will say exit, and now I will create an, an sub interface, sub interface, which is serial 2 slash 0 dot 201. And I will say point to point, and I will put the IP address 192.168.0, uh, in this case 12.255.255.255.0, and then I will say no shutdown, so router 2 is done. Now we do the same for router 3, configure terminal, interface serial 2 slash 0, encapsulation, frame relay, no shutdown, I will create a sub interface, Interface serial 2 slash 0 dot uh, should be 301 point to point. IP address 192.168.13 dot let's do it 3, 255, 255, 255, 0, and then no shutdown. Very good. So let's check now the interfaces if they are up on all the routers. So show IP interface brief on router 3. And we can see it is good. We go to router 2. Show IP interface brief, also good, and we go to router 1, show IP interface brief, that's also good. So everything for now, uh, as for the sub-interfaces uh, that I've created is working. Now we have to start doing the mapping to be able to map the uh, um, DLCI to go to the right IPs. Point number 1 and 2 and 3, they are all done. Now we have to do the map. Now the map is different when you use pont to pont than what you, you we have used when we uh, work on the pont to multi pont. So what I have to do over here, I have to go to the uh, to the interface. So on router one, I'll go to the actually to the sub interface, which is serial two slash zero dot one o two. So this is the sub interface here. And now I have to say frame relay, and over here. We used to use before the uh, the map. Now I'm not going to use map anymore because that's a uh, point to point. We have to use the interface DLCI. So I will have to say interface DLCI, and then I will say what is my DLCI. So it is one or two. So by doing that with interface DLCI, and then I click enter, then uh, the router makes uh, the map now. It's very important also that uh, you disable the inverse ARP. What is the inverse ARP? The inverse ARP will detect automatically uh, the IP of uh, the router that you want to go to it and will uh, map it to the DLCI that you have just put it, which is 102. Now, sometimes because it's automatically, sometimes this makes problems, especially when you are adding more circuits. So this can make problems. So what uh, um, Cisco um, recommends is to disable the inverse ARP. You can leave it if you want. That's not a problem. It works, but you can better disable it. So you have to say no frame relay. Actually, you have to go one level back. And then here we have to say no frame relay inverse ARP. And uh, that's it. So that's uh, what you have to do from uh, this sub interface. We go to the second sub interface. So we go to the interface serial 2 slash 0 dot 103. I think we name it 103, right? And now I have to say over here, uh, frame relay interface DLCI, and it is going to be 103. And then we go one level back and have to say no frame relay inverse up. Now if I do show frame relay map, and uh, we can see that uh, this is the uh, the map. It's point to point. The LCI going to this one, and uh, it is going from the uh, sub interface one o three. So we don't really map anymore to the IP. It's just say the outgoing interface is one o three. So let's do the same for router two, router three. So on router two, we go to the interface serial two slash zero dot two o one. And then I have to say here, frame relay interface DLCI 201 and no frame relay inverse ARP. 
that is done, we go to router 3. And from here, we have to go to configure terminal, interface serial 2 slash 0 dot 301, primary day interface TLCI 301, and no primary day inverse up. Excellent. So let's check now. Show frame relay map. We just check the map. So it is active. We can also use this command show frame relay LMI. So when you see these numbers are identical or close to each other, then you know that the circuit for the frame relay is working. We go to router 2 also. We do show frame relay map. Yeah, it is active. And then show frame relay LMI. Perfect. We go to router one. We just show, show the map. We say show frame relay LMI. And then we have to see. Yeah, it's totally good. So very good. So for now, I think that uh, everything is fine. So we have to test now to see if the frame relay circuit is working between the routers. Point number four is done. Point number five ensure that each router can ping the other. So let's start with router one. I will try to ping to router 2, which has an IP 192.168.12.2, right? Working, we ping to 13.3, which is router 3, working. Very good, we go to router 2. We ping to router 1, 192.168.12.1, working. We ping to router 3, which is 13.3. It's not working, and uh, there is a reason why it's not working, because we have to make routing. So, because if you say here, show IP route, the router does not know anything about 13.3. So we have to enable routing on router 1 and on router 2 and on router 3 so the ping can work. All right, uh, if you want, I can add this cell uh, uh, yeah, option in this lab. Let me just first check also on router 3 if we ping to 192.168.12, um, actually 13.1, which is router 1, is working. But if we ping to uh, 12.2, Let's just ping to 12.1, which is router 1. Also, we see it's not uh, getting there. Let's stop it. And of course, if we do to 12.2, it's not also working. So what I'm going to do now, just to, just to allow everything to be uh, reachable. So I'm going to configure a RIP on router 1 and router 2 and router 3. So I will say router RIP. And I will say no auto summary and version 2. Let's use version 2. And I will advertise the networks, which are 192.168.12.0 and the network 13.0. So those are advertised on RIP. We go to router 2, configure terminal, router RIP, no auto summary, version 2. Network 192.168.12.0. I go to router 3, configure terminal, router rip, version 2, no auto summary, network 192.168.13.0. Very good. So now, if I check on router 3 why we are there, show IP route. We can see that router 3 now he knows from RIP how to reach to 12.0. So before, if we look up, when we tried to ping to 12.1 and to 12.2, it wasn't working. So now let's try. Ping 192.168.12.2. Here we go. You see it's working, and also if we ping to 2.1, it is working. Router 2, if we say show IP route, also he knows how to reach to 13.0. From RIP, so if we ping to 192.168.13.3, yeah, it is working. Point number five is done, and with this point, I have showed you how you can configure the uh, frame relay point to point. I know that frame relay is a bit uh, an old uh, technology, but still, we can find it sometimes, uh, and uh, we may require to configure frame relay on Cisco routers. So that's why I decided to make three videos speaking about. First, how to configure the frame relay switch, so how to make a router to be a frame relay switch. And then the second one, I made the point to multi point lab. And now this lab is about point to multi point. So I hope uh, that uh, this uh, video was informative for you. If you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to put like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, 
click on the bell so you are notified whenever I have new videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your time and till next time.